Namaste everyone and welcome to another fortnightly tarot forecast with Rashmi. Hi everyone. So we are back again to tell all you sun signs what's in store for each one of you for this fortnight. So without any further delay, let's dig right in. So Rashmi, what are we seeing first? Okay, we are seeing Aries as usual. So uh, it's a time for Aries to make that decision. This is the decision making fortnight. Mark my words please. And please take this advice because if you don't take that decision now, later on you may have problems. Then there is a card which says that you are introspecting, which is very good because uh, you are not only introspecting, you are pointing the finger inwards, which means you are taking the blame on yourself, which is a very great thing indeed. Very spiritual people do that and I think that is how you will be able to make that decision, which I was saying take that decisions now. Also some of you may be addicted to a relationship. Maybe it's a toxic relationship, it's become a, it's not just your partner, it could be with anyone. So something that doesn't serve you well, I think you should let go of it. Mm -hmm. you know, that's what I'm trying to say for Aliens. It's not a bad card, it, this card just suggests that if you let go, good things, something else will open up, good things will happen. And those of you who were planning to get engaged, some of you who were uh, not yet married or engaged, I think it's going to get a further delay. There's a hitch which may be all for the best, maybe a blessing in disguise. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now let's see what's in store for Taurus. So Taurians, wow, there's a card, the key. So you literally hold the key. This is another kind of tarot card I'm using mm -hmm. today. So you, you hold the key. So this also means you are the person who is going to take control and it's up to you to decide what to do and the way forward. Mm. So you could go either this way or that way. Mm -hmm. So for some of you it could be crossroads. Mm -hmm. So uh, the decision is up to you to go this way or that way. And a lot of money is being spent this fortnight. So uh, be wise with your expenditures because you need to keep some in reserve but this card says that there is going to be a lot of expenditures but uh, I guess you need to meet with them so that you are you know you feel free mm -hmm. and you know you done away with all your uh, debts or you know people you owe money to you must complete that this fortnight and uh, for you there is a beautiful chant that has come up uh, you know for your peace of mind and for your calm you must chant uh, the Gayatri Mantra Mm -hmm. which is a common mantra but a very powerful mantra and uh, for some of you there is travel as well so that was for Taurians and now let's see what's in store for Gemini, Gemini. so Geminians are feeling threatened you know uh, it's maybe it's just in the mind it's you know that problem or that uh, insecurity that you're thinking about that doesn't really exist so it's all in your mind and I think you should relax and, you know, let go of this particular worry. And for some of you, wow, there's a new uh, venture starting now. So, uh, something which didn't work out for some people, they should let go of that because something new is also there in the pipeline. Yeah. And uh, on your personal front, your emotions are running high. So, it's, it's a period of, you know, a lot of emotional energy. So, try and conserve that energy and don't spend too much of your energy on you know, mulling over things uh, which may not serve you so well, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, in the work front, you're feeling anchored. Like I said, something, if it's not worked out, uh, you're going to move on from there and something new is in the pipeline. So you're going to feel very anchored and very stable. Okay, and what you could do, yes, for this, uh, for your work, in fact, uh, you must chant a mantra, Om Nish Kamayi Namaha. So if you do this for this fortnight, it will make you successful and you will feel the difference. So it's an easy mantra. Om Nish Kamai Nama. Great. Okay, so let's go to the next sign. Cancer. Cancer. That's your sign. So Cancerians, you too. Wow, this card is coming up. In fact, this is a different card but the meaning could be the same. Mm -hmm. That you're also on either crossroads or you're not being able to decide between two things. So I suggest, another, another card says that uh, focus on one thing right now, mm -hmm. right? So don't try and do, 
you know focus on both things because then uh, you will be losing uh, you know the opportunity to grow in that one particular area so try and focus that's important for you for some of you uh, a loved one may be going away you know could be anybody in your family could be a son a daughter could be a partner so they're just traveling away but that's for temporary so it's not a permanent party right and uh, there's a lot of hope in fact you feel very hopeful these days and very positive and upbeat which is great you can say so, yeah and uh, yes chakra meditation is advised for you and also uh, take a walk in the sun even more important than that chakra meditation is take a walk in the sun in the you know early morning sun rays and try and you know do your pranayam or take those deep breathing exercises mm -hmm. in the early morning sun or even sun salutations for that matter yes. yeah you could do that so let's go on to the next sign leo leos wow so you you're feeling very inventive you going to devise something for yourself a new you can revamp yourself so something new you're coming up with you it's like a makeover mm -hmm. you're doing about yourself or your project or your work uh, could be even a relationship so you're trying to reinvent and infuse new energy in that relationship which is a really amazing card and uh, yeah the victory card is also there so which is good so you will you know if those of you who were you know in an argument or a battle or a difference of opinion so you definitely are going to emerge the winner and your point of view will be heard and one more card this is a very mysterious mystical card it says you already have the answer so why are you spending time worrying over a thing when you have the answer so just look in word listen to your intuition mm -hmm. you already have the answer and the best right. thing to listen to your intuition is just meditate for a while right. and go in word yes so uh, also you could do another thing you could keep either a turmaline crystal if you don't have that keep a rock salt uh, very close to you at your work table at your bedside table that really helps and any particular direction that they should keep it in no rock salt can be actually you can keep it in the middle of your right. workspace okay Okay, so the next sign is Virgos. Virgos, wow, you have the three-leaf clover. So they say four-leaf clover is lucky, mm -hmm. but even a three-leaf clover is lucky, but it's more family-oriented. So you, uh, you know, you are looking at your family, and a lot of good things are happening around your family. So it's a great, great card to get. And but some of you are being a little lazy and laid back. So. you know uh, get up right get going get on your toes and do that work and you know you're trying to procrastinate i would say you're trying to put that work in the back burner mm -hmm. so uh, i want you to feel charged because you do well you know when you make up your mind you do well so push aside that laziness okay because yes the card that follows is uh, a star card which means something is good you know a, a wish or you know something which you were hoping for is going to happen so discard that laziness okay and uh, this is confusion regarding some body in your life so some sort of a confusion which you will overcome this fortnight i think okay and also uh, what you can do is your north west zone you can energize that you know you can either light incense there uh, you know and look after your plants more importantly look after your plants uh, this card is saying you know talk to them sing to them they say uh, plants are living as you mm -hmm. know so the more you sing to them the more you talk to them the more they grow and the more they flourish and you know it will have an effect it yes. will have an effect on you positive effect on you yeah. yes. and light that incense also around them mm -hmm. that really helps okay so the next sign libra Libras, wow, love is in the air. <laughs> so now, Libra, your birth month is coming. So, so the Libras, their birthdays are on the way. So, love is in the air. So, a lot of gifts, a lot of love, a lot of emotion. So, all that sort of a thing. And again, a travel card for Libras. I think for the past three, few, <laughs> three readings, yeah, yeah. they are always traveling, and I have been seeing that yeah. since you've been traveling. Traveling, yeah, because I'm Libra, so I've also been traveling. so travel and a, some sort of a renewal a renewal of a project a renewal of a relationship all that is in the 
Perfect. Yeah. So, uh, and the, yes, the lover's card is there, but then lover's card can also mean a three party relationship. Yeah, this is quite interesting yes. because a lot of people have had this question about lover's card. Yeah. So, what all are the implications of lover's okay. card? So, uh, the meanings of uh, lover's cards can mean just plain, simple, good marriage, good relationship. Mm -hmm. Then the other thing can be that uh, you are, you know, your person, your spouse is not being able to decide between you and another person. Or you could be in a dual relationship. Mm -hmm. that, that is sometimes, but being a positive tarot card reader, and I like to see just the bright side of yeah. things, I like to keep it as love, yeah. the love is God. Yeah. But it could, you're right, it could have a meaning of yeah. a double relationship. Yeah. So what else is happening in Libra's life? Yeah, so they should feel confident and very happy and upbeat because it's a very good month coming for them and it's their birth month. So wonderful. it's amazing. Great. Yeah. Okay, now let's see what's in store for Scorpions. Scorpion. Okay, Scorpions, there is somebody, a mother figure, who's going to help you through, uh, maybe, maybe even your superior. In your workplace is going to help you through a particular problem so somebody is being very protective and uh, helpful so those of you who are in a relationship it's a good period and those of you who are not in a relationship expect something new oh, wow. so, yeah something in the pipeline Wonderful. and uh, money wise it's a good period work wise you're working hard and uh, but one suggestion because i see fire here what you could do is for more good luck and for more wealth and abundance and more ideas because also some for some of you something new is going to begin especially in the relationship front so you should uh, light a candle you know at the time of sunset or a dia you know so if you don't have a dia at the time of sunset a candle and remember to always thank the universe for your blessings yes. so be simple and simplicity is your mantra for this you know, so uh, be down to earth, grounded, simple, and be thankful to the universe because you are truly blessed. Yes, and be grateful. So that's all for Scorpio. And now uh, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. So uh, Sagittarius, those of you who are in the creative line. Those of you who are also in the, uh, you know, say in the designing field, even jewelry. You know, there was the Venus card says. That all ventures which are connected to Venus, which is, you know, um, creativity, um, anything to do with beauty actually. So people in the line of beauty, fashion, all that are going to do very, very well. And for some of you in your immediate family or your own family or your immediate family, there's a birth of a child. So it's good news, the stock is coming by. Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, yeah, so that's why the sun card, so which means uh, birth of a child, happiness, celebrations, all of that. And for some of you travel. So those of you traveling, uh, north direction is going to get you good luck. So north is great for you. Right. So that's for Saji. And now let's see what's for uh, Capricorn. Capricorns. Capricornians, you're feeling grounded and you're feeling secure and happy because one of your wishes, this is literally the wish card. So one of your wishes mm -hmm. has come true and uh, you're feeling very, uh, you know, happy after some time of struggle with a particular thing. You know, could be in your workspace, could be even in your relationship. So that wish has come by, has happened, and that is why you are um, feeling happy. And uh, those of you are studying are also going to do well and uh, you know improve your knowledge. So, so this is a knowledge card. So you, all of you are. Also, uh, delving into something, you know, uh, getting to the bottom of something also, you know, so it's it's all about knowledge. And your north direction, you must heal. So by heal, I say, um, you know, you can light an incense there, you can light a candle there, you can put some plants there, you can even put some pebbles there, you know, earth luck, mm -hmm. because you're going to get it from the north. Okay, so now the next sign is Aquarius. Aquarians are energized. They are literally uh, somebody is opposing one of their plans. So they, but they are so energized and they are so upbeat and you know they're so full of energy that they're taking this on, you know, and they're sticking to their ground. So they're speaking up. 
So Aquarians, it's a good card because you're speaking up and you're, uh, you know, defending your turf, so to say. Mm. Yeah. And what goes around comes around. So, uh, so this means that if you're doing good, you're going to get good. So, so try not to be negative or have any negative feelings now. Mm. Because what goes around comes around to you. And uh, also, uh, impulsively, you may get into a new venture, which may not be all that bad. Which may be good. Sometimes things work out when you do them impulsively. Okay, and also uh, some of you are going to meet your soulmate. So all in all, it's a very interesting spread for Aquarius. Aquarians. So lastly, fish. Pisces. Yeah, and literally the fish has come. <laughs> the Pisces and the fish has come. So you are uh, being yourself, number one, and uh, you're could be, uh, you know, gathering a lot of information, gathering a lot of learning experiences as you go along. Mm. For some of you, it could be travel. For some of you, it could be good luck and money. Mm. So, the great things actually happen when you get the fish card. Fish card. Uh, but be careful of minor injuries. You may be, uh, you know, some of you may be a little careless. Don't be careless. Be careful in this time, especially in the pandemic. Please yeah. be careful. Be safe. That's important. And money is great. And uh, the uh, good mantra for you is Om Mani Padma Hum. Remember we yes. discuss this mantra so often. It's a very powerful number um, mantra, mantra, sorry. And it brings you good luck. So, And it makes you feel very, uh, you know, invigorated and very rejuvenated. So, uh, say this mantra, especially this uh, coming Fortnight. Fortnight. And stop depending on others. Like I said, you have to be yourself, Pisces, this time. So be empowered. Yes. Okay. Okay. So that's all for all the sun signs. And uh, that was Rashmi. Thank you, Rashmi. Okay. And we will be back with another fortnightly reading. But before that, let's move to the question section of our viewers. So on to that. Okay. So here it is the question of our viewer today. And this is Arnav's question. He is at a he is thinking of uh, whether shifting to a job, which is a very well-paying job, very nice job, or to go for his own startup. And he has been experiencing this confusion and chaos in his mind and restless nights over the past few months. And uh, let's see if Taro has an answer for it. So Rashmi. Yeah. So uh, Nilakshi have already done it. I took the date of birth from you. So I had pulled out some cards for him. And life experience the situation has come so exactly, it's like hair raising. I get most pimples sometimes. The card comes exact to the situation. So I have got this from in another deck of tarot cards, Crossroads, earlier in my reading. But this is from another deck. Mm -hmm. So it says so clearly Crossroads. Yes. So now, meaning he is undecided and he doesn't know which way to go. But I feel he is more cut out right now. I know he is very, very, very uh, into getting to a startup because you know he, he wants quick, he wants to make quick money and be his own boss kind of a thing. But I know all that is very good and that works for a lot of us. But I feel I should tell him that it's not the time right now mm. for a startup. So I think this job that he's getting is going to give him experience and is going to give him a lot of confidence as well as, uh, like I said, experience and. Uh, you know, he will move forward with greater confidence, with, you know, when he has his, when he starts up right. a business. And yeah. uh, Rashmi, uh, you also can see that uh, when can he actually get into a startup? Okay, so right now, uh, this current job that is, has come, it's a very good card, means contract. Eight of Wands, yeah. Yeah, uh, either contract or, you know, a letter, yeah, eight of Wands. So it means a letter, so that's an appointment letter. So even though he is in two minds and he wants to do, you know, concentrate on his startup, he will, he should, he should actually for the next at least four to five months. Mm. So uh, maybe if if not eight months, because earlier I had said eight months mm -hmm. in my mind, mm -hmm. but I think it could be quicker than it eight months. Quicker. So four to five months. And any. Um the remedies that he should follow, like apart from meditation, anything else that you can see in the cards? For him well, to yes. He, what he can do is, he can get hold of a tiger's eye. Okay. 
you see a tiger's eye will boost here you know his business sense even more mm -hmm. and it's a also money making mm -hmm. crystal mm -hmm. so uh, so it will help him in the long run for his new venture a tiger's eye okay so tiger's eye for you and i hope that answers your question and brings you peace so that is all for today's segment and we'll see you next week goodbye and have a wonderful time namaste <laughs>